Good morning, church family. Uh, today we are extending our family with this baby dedication this morning. Uh, we will be blessing Easton Metro, Metra, sorry. Um, his parents are Adeline Jean Mary and Pierre Charles Metra. Amen. Thank you, thank you. The uh, Tabernacle Children's Ministry Department would like to welcome you to church today and would ask you to please come forward. We have um, Deveston Metra, born December 5th, 2023, to parents Adeline Jean and Pierre Charles Metra at the Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood. Welcome to Tabernacle again. Good morning, family. I'll say it one more time. Good morning, family. Good morning. Happy Sabbath to each and every one of you. We're thankful to have this little one and his family uh, to celebrate this moment. This is very important. And so at this time, I'm going to ask for our first elder to read a passage of scripture uh, as we go into this part of the service. Many of us know this scripture, if you don't mind repeating it with me. It comes from Proverbs 22, verse 6, and it reads, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. It's a well-known passage, as you all would imagine. And the beautiful thing about it is that every time that we have a service like this one, it is a blessing. Because God is the one who blessed you with this beautiful little baby. And the Bible lets us know that we are to train up a child in the way that he should go. The beautiful thing about it is that we learn that when you invest and train something or someone, they end up being a blessing to many individuals. The reason why we have a service like this one is because you, because you recognize first that this blessing of a baby is one that came directly from God. It is God that blessed you, God who gave you this little one, and God expects for you to invest in him. Secondly, it is the covenant with God that you will train this child, meaning that you're going to partner with God. Since God is the one who blessed you, God has given you this little one, God expects for you to then covenant with him, partner with him, so that you can grow this little one in the admonition of the Lord. And then, of course, it is giving God thanks for what he has done, because many individuals in the world would love to have children of their own, but God has chosen to bless you in this way. Now, the Bible says train, and training takes diligence, dedication, hard work. I know because God has given us children, but also as of late, I have these little plants that I called my children to. And I realized that when you're growing plants, you can't just put them any old way in the ground. Any witnesses here? True. You can't just go and say, I'm going to take a plant and just put it right where the sun hits. Because if you put it there, it's going to die. If you go and you put certain plants in the shade and they don't like the shade, they need some sun, they're going to die. And first, also, um, not only you have to choose where, but you have to make sure that the soil that is growing in is fertile soil. You can't just put a, a plant down in any place with rocks and all that different stuff. You've got to make sure that the soil is good ground when you're going to grow a plant. In the same way, in the same way, it's for a child. God has blessed you with this little one. And he doesn't want you to put the child in any environment and expect for the child to grow and mature into a wonderful human being. That child has got to have good soil. That's why you chose to bring this one here in church so that he can grow and start the foundation here. He's planted in good soil when he comes to church and he's able to have support of each and every person here. So you have a church family. You are here, you recognize the importance of having good soil, but then also you recognize that you can't do it alone, but it takes a village. Now, ironically, as I talk about village, I had to go and look up the name that you chose for this little bo boy, uh, Eve's Ton. 
Well, you separated it, you hyphenated it. And so I know it's Eveston, but you have Eves dash ton. So I had to look it up because when I looked up Eve, I know that the origin is French. It's a French origin. It means you, which is really a tree. You all knew that, right? Okay, you didn't, now I'm telling you. It is a yew tree. And some of you may ask the question, I know you, but a yew tree, what is that? Well, it's an evergreen tree with red berries and sharp needles. The tree is known for long life and strength. And it is used to make archery bow bows. So when you have a bow and arrow, the bow is made most times from the yew tree. Now, I had to look up ton since Eves is a very different, since it's French. I asked the question, where is ton from? Because you chose to add it onto Eves. Now, ton is Dutch. It's a masculine name, a strong name. In short, it means highly praiseworthy, homestead, or like I said, a village. In other words, you chose a name, Eveston, that is a very strong name. It means that he's a child who's going to be very honest, who will have long life, who will be able to bring people together, and is praiseworthy in his work ethic and in his life. God has given you a strong young man, a man who's going to stand for right principle, and is not afraid to shoot the shot. Anyone know what I'm talking about? This is a young man who's a go-getter because that's the name that you gave him. And I know that first and foremost, if you named him this, God wants to use this young man for his glory. So today you recognize that, that you brought this little one to God. And I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, family, do you hear this day? Dedicate little Easton to God. Yes? And do you promise to use whatever means available to help him to learn about Christ? Amen. Amen. Uh, children's ministry, they could see him in Sabbath school already. He could sing songs in the choir. And as a church, we are here to witness and see the power of God in his life. Church family, you know that his name means homestead or village. And we recognize that it takes a village to raise a child. This family is here bringing Little Easton back to God. But it takes us also investing in Little Easton. So today I'm going to ask this of the congregation. Do you here today pledge to support this family with whatever means available to help little Easton to grow in the admonition of God and get to learn about Jesus and dedicate his life to him when he comes to that age of accountability? Do you here de declare that today? Amen. 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 You heard the responses of the congregation. And for each and every one of you, congratulations. Um, now we're going to have a word of prayer. I'm going to ask for one of our elders, Elder Henry. Elder Henry is going to come and he's going to show us how it is that he can still hold a baby. Amen, church? Elder Henry is getting prepared. And if we can gather around family wherever possible, Seems like he forgot there for a moment. He's, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Now, family, here's what I want you to do. You come around and you place your hand right over here, if possible, on Elder Henry and on this little boy. Come on, let's press together, family. Let's press together. We're going to press our hands. And come on, Elder English, and we're going to pray a prayer of blessing. Father in heaven, Lord, we come to you again today. Father, you, you are here with us, and we're thankful for this little baby, Easton. Lord, I pray in a special way, O oh God, that you will do as you please in his life. Father, allow for him to be exemplary in all things that he will do. I pray, O oh God, that you will bless their family, that you allow for them to use whatever means available to help little Easton to grow up so that he will learn more about you. 
Father, as a church family, may we be supportive in every single way. And in the moments as he grows, oh God, and as he goes through school and as he matriculates, as he's able to graduate, may we also celebrate with him, knowing that you are the one who's giving him wisdom. Lord, we pray also that you will shield him from all of the childhood ailments of this life, that you will keep him, oh God, that you will strengthen him, that you will pave the way for him, that you will surround him with holy angels when he needs you most, oh God. Protect him from all of the attacks of the enemy. And when it's all said and done, oh God, and you shall return as Lord, Savior, and King, we pray, oh God, that you will find little Eveson and his entire household ready to meet you as Lord, Savior, and King. We thank you, O oh God, for answering our prayer. We thank you for being with this little one and continue to grow him up to be strong in the faith. This we pray in Jesus' name. Let all of God's people say, amen, amen, amen. God bless you, family. Our children's ministry has got a few items that they would love to present to you. Wonderful. All right, so uh, the, on behalf of the children's ministry department, we would like to present a small token to Euston and his family. First, we have his baby de uh, dedication certificate, which is framed, as well as a basket with Euston's first Bible, okay? We also have a, um, other few tokens in there, but most importantly, we have a letter from Pastor that he is going to be talking a little bit more about. You have a letter in that package that is addressed to Eveston. Um, and as parents, we're thankful for you all, but understand that the letter is addressed to your son. So you're not to, supposed to open that letter until his eighth birthday. His eighth birthday, when you are celebrating that moment with him, you can give him the letter, let him open it. I'm gonna tell you what the letter says. The letter reminds him that he was dedicated on this day. He will go back to YouTube on his iPad, and he's gonna search for the video. And he's gonna see that we all were standing here in the commitment of the church. But more importantly, that letter is going to state that he needs to now make up his mind and give his life to God. He needs to contemplate it, he needs to be connected to him, and he needs to be baptized. That's the content of the letter. So now that you know, you don't have to open his letter. Um, but we wanna celebrate this day with you because it's a glorious day where you can bring little Easton back to God. We wish Absolutely. you all the best, and we're here as a church to support you in the journey. Yes. We also have in the basket one last very important item, which is a child guidance resource book that is a pretty much a roadmap into training little Easton, so you can go into it to get snippets of ideas on, on how to train him in the way of the Lord. And on behalf of children, Tabernacle's Children's Ministry Department, we would like to welcome you. And we, like Pastor said before, we look forward to seeing him in Sabbath school. Amen.